Oprah, Meghan and Harry, once the best of friends, but is a fallout now looming? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London, a very gloomy looking London, and this is summer in England, let me point out. But here's the royal story today. Now, as we all know, Harry, Meghan and Oprah all sat down for that now infamous interview, which was well put way back together in October last year. But here's where the story gets rather confusing, simply because when you have such a momentous TV event like that, and then, of course, the plethora of lies which were attached to that TV event, and we have to say at this point, allegedly, but some of the stories, as we now know, were, of course, proven to be untrue. Now, Meghan herself said that, you know, she got married secretly, and many people say, well, maybe she just got confused. But, of course, Another person decided, that's the person who married them, Justin Welby, that, well, no, there was no secret wedding. He was put in a rather embarrassing situation. Then, of course, we had Prince Harry basically saying, well, he was cut off financially. Well, that was proven to be untrue too, simply because records show that His Royal Highness Prince Charles continued to support his youngest son financially for a long time. But here's where the story gets rather murky. The simple situation is this, whenever you have a big momentous interview like that and it starts to go wrong, then the mudslinging starts. And more importantly, there's the blame game attached. Now, one of the reasons I'm told is simply this. A lot of people on the Harry and Meghan camp are basically saying that they didn't know exactly what they were getting into and they had no idea of the questioning at all. Oprah was allowed to ask anything. I find this hard to believe, really, from their side of it, simply because how would Oprah Winfrey know how the royal family operated? And some of that line of questioning must have come from people close to Harry and Meghan. After all, how would you know exactly how certain things like, for instance, the secret wedding would have gone through? They would have needed to be told that. But, of course, as I say, it's a blame game culture. Now, for Oprah, this is dangerous territory, simply because she described this interview originally as the best of her career. Well, we know this because her good friend Gail King on CBS News told everyone. But it's now turning out not to be the best interview of her career, simply because there's more holes in it a Swiss cheese. And she doesn't like it, naturally so. But there's still a remaining 90 minutes of unseen footage, which again, we're told, is rather explosive. Now, if this was to be released, we'd get the fuller picture. Why did they hold so much material back? Was it unsubstantiated? Were there legal problems? And more importantly, do we get to see, if this is true, that Oprah Winfrey was simply out of her depth? From their side, the Oprah camp and good sources that I know say she stands by the interview and is very happy with, of course, her own line of questioning. But it's going to get very murky soon, simply because, of course, somebody needs to make some kind of retraction and move forward with this particular incident. More importantly, before September, if and when the ex-royals decide to make a return. That appears to be the only way of healing between Prince William, Prince Harry, Meghan and senior members of the British royal family. So basically, it's over to the three of you to decide who's to blame for this debacle. Neil Sean in the heart of London.